There is a black guy in America who is friends with the KKK. He sat down and became friends with the biggest racist in the world. And the crazy thing about it, he made them quit the KKK. What? And how? In the United States, I met Daryl. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Daryl Davis. And I make friends with clans people. Daryl was just a 25-year-old musician when, after one of his shows, a guy came to him to tell him he loved his music. Daryl explained to him that this music was originally created by black musicians. So they sat down together to have a drink. And that's when the guy told him that he was actually a member of a racist group called the Ku Klux Klan. People in the KKK had been hating and murdering black people for decades. So I was a bit shocked when he told me, but I decided to listen to him. So Daryl and his new friend started having dinner together, going to each other's houses to talk about life and music. He said he had never had a drink with a black guy before and thought he never would. But he was so touched by the music, he was like, I've got to go talk to this guy. I don't care that he's black. But Daryl didn't stop there. He asked his friend the phone number of the local clan leader, and he started being friends with him too. That one was a bit more complicated. We had to meet with his bodyguard who was armed, and he told me that I was inferior to him because of the color of my skin. But little by little, he warmed up to me. And after a few years, the leader quit, and so did his followers. And each time a member of the clan would quit, Daryl would be given their robes, hoods, flags, medallions, and other KKK items. Here's some of my collection. What do you think? Thanks to Daryl's efforts, over 200 people quit the KKK. And it's all because instead of hating them, he decided to sit down and talk with them. Every time I would sit down with them, I would tell them, I don't agree with you. I don't respect your opinion, but I respect you. You're a human being just like me, and you have the right to say what you think. And then they would start to listen. It's hard to hate someone when you're talking with them face to face. But none of this was easy for him. Many of his black friends told him he was a sellout, that he was befriending the enemy and betraying black people. And that's where they're wrong. They think they're fighting racism, but actually they're fueling it. If you want to end racism, you have to go to the root cause, which is ignorance. And how do you fight ignorance? by talking to people. The KKK does not have a monopoly on ignorance. A missed opportunity for dialogue is a missed opportunity for conflict resolution. Remember, when two enemies are talking, they're not fighting, they're talking. It's when the conversation ceases that the ground becomes fertile for violence. See, when we meet racists, we tend to shut them off and just say they're evil. But doing so will not end racism. According to Daryl, hating the racists doesn't help. If we talk and listen to them, maybe we can get them to change. I never converted anybody. I just gave them reason to think. I was their first black friend. And of course they were afraid of me at first. But little by little, they stopped being afraid and realized that we are more alike than we are different. At the end of the day, nobody is born a racist. It's just an ideology. If somebody manages to put it in, somebody else can put it out. And this guy did exactly that 200 times. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.